guys, what's up? How the frickity frack are you? My name is Amanda. If you're brand new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to turn on your post notifications. So today, guys, I'm going to be reacting to another new trailer, official trailer, of Disenchanted. Um, I'm really, really pumped to see Disenchanted. It's definitely going on another... Story-wise, it's going off another different way than what I thought, did, like the sequel to Enchanted would go. So it's going off of the path of that, I guess, Giselle wants to achieve like the perfect fairy tale life, but in the real world. So she, I guess she wants to bring fairy tale like elements to the real world to make it feel more perfect. And I guess somehow, some way, I guess in wanting to achieve that, she thinks that you need to have villains. You need to have like the evil stepmother and all that stuff um, to be able to achieve like perfect fairy tale bliss um, and I guess in that process she becomes an evil stepmother very interesting not where I thought it was gonna go but I'm intrigued either way I'm really excited to see this I can't wait to react to it on my channel because I'm a huge fan of the first film and like a lot of people I've always wanted for there to be a sequel to this film and now here it is so let's just go and drive dive right into it and let's just check out what the brand new trailer is for Disenchanted. Here we go, guys. Let's check it out. I know that change can be scary, but it can also be exciting. <laughs> Let's start our new life. They really don't look that different. She doesn't, she looks like she has an age, and Patrick Dempsey just has a little bit of gray hair, that's it. They finally have Adina sing. Amazing. Does anyone in Andalusia ever just say stuff? Not if we can help it. <laughs> That's cute. This world feels very different. Is it sometimes easier to live in Andalusia? Well, I wouldn't say easier. We have dragons and ogre rebellions. Last year, the oh, entire goodness. kingdom was trapped in a giant whale. Oh. <laughs> She's like, oh, I wish not I was a there. Magic land. It is a land far, far away from my friends. I'm so late. I'm a commuter now. You're riding this train over and over and over and over and over and <gasps> over. James Engelhart! And, and then you die. I love him. As you can see, Giselle, everyone has their place once you found where you fit. Unrofil can be whatever you wish. I wish for a fairy tale life. Remember, happily ever after, it's not always that easy. My hair, it's so high, and my dress is so low. Jumping jelly <laughs> sticks. We got magic. Ah, musical numbers. I'm so excited. This town is turning into a fairy tale, but it's all gone terribly wrong. On the last stroke of midnight, nothing will be as it was before. Always the last stroke of midnight. I'm not an evil cat. I'm not an evil cat. I'm not an evil cat. <laughs> What is going on? You need to remember your place here. Stepmother, please. Giselle is under a curse. We have to stop this or everything Andalasian will die. There's no one wishing your wish now, Giselle. Come on. Time to be heroes. You know there's only room for one villain in this town. You're hilarious. <laughs> Delusional, but hilarious. <laughs> I'm so fascinated by this choice that they decided to make uh, Giselle placed under a curse and to be like evil uh, for the sequel. I feel like everybody was like, we want a Giselle back, not evil Giselle. I think it makes it interesting. You know, we've already seen like fairy tale, wide eyed, blissful, innocent, you know, Giselle in the first film. Like this is interesting. It's a different twist. Um, and you know, I think it gives a little, like, it gives more development to the character. It gives it, like, a, it gives her a different path, and it, um, I, I think it brings her to life in a different way, because the in the first film, she was brought to life in a different way, in a more bubbly, you know, everything is perfect manner, and now this is, like, a darker, you know, darker, esque twist on her, that now she's under this curse, and now she's evil, um, 
I think it's interesting. I'm actually really excited to see it. I'm, I just want to see like how it further develops. How did she get, you know, well, I guess you can tell how she got cursed because it looks like whoever Maya, it looks like Maya Rudolph is somebody who's in the real world, just like Giselle, but she's impersonating being a regular person and she's actually from either Andalasia or some fairy tale uh, world where she is a villain and I guess she's just trying to bestow the gift of evil onto the next person and she chose Giselle because Giselle was desperate for a fairy tale life um, so it's going it's going to be interesting to see her like fall under the curse and I guess progressively get more and more evil and then I guess how do they get her out of it and you know do they get her out of it I would hope they do get her out of it um, because I feel like leaving Giselle evil, that would be so, it would, I think it would kind of break my heart a little bit. Poor innocent little Giselle. I think it would, it would, it would hurt me to keep her evil. I'm a big villains fan, but I feel like Giselle should just, she should go back to the way she is. I, th I think she should have her fun being a villain for a little bit. And I think then she should just go back to being Giselle because I love her so much as Giselle. I don't want her to stay evil, but that's just, that's just me. I don't know what it, I don't know how it's going to end or how it's going to uh, B, but I'm excited nonetheless. There are so many things coming out for November. It is insane. They have they have just jam packed November so hard with TV shows and films, and it's insane. But nonetheless, I cannot wait to see it, guys. I hope you are excited as I am to see Disenchanted. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and if you guys are looking forward to it. I want to have a watch party for this film very very badly i'm really excited so let me know if you guys would love to join me for the watch party i'll still have an edited version of my reaction but you guys know i like to do um uh watch parties live stream watch parties from time to time when you know it's an exciting premiere of something and i find this very exciting so let me know in the comments down below if you guys would love to have a live stream watch party and um yeah make sure to like this video subscribe for more awesome content turn on post notifications and I will see you guys for the next new video. Bye, guys.